This is my nephew. Uh, what is your, what's your nickname? My, my name, nickname's Burger. What do you want yours to be? Uh, just, uh, just call my nickname. Little Burger? Just call me Painting. I'm calling you Painting? Yeah, Painting. I'm gonna put just Nephew. Okay. What's up, guys? How's everybody doing? Good. Mur, 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 mur. Guys, just so you know, uh, his mom doesn't want you to refer to him as his name. So just call him uh, Lil Slider. She's just worried about people knowing his name and stuff because, you know, I don't understand because, you know, it's, you know, got to keep the kids safe and everything. There's a lot of weirdos out there. All right, so we're working on a painting here in our painting studio, and this is what we did last time. How long did we paint, paint on this last time, uh, little slider? Four hours. Four hours. We worked on this about four hours the other day. And this is, is this the biggest painting you've ever worked on? This is my nephew. And this is, uh, we used, we actually, I stretched this on the stream a while back. This is actually burlap, really cheap burlap. It's cheaper, cheaper than canvas, but it really gives it a really nice coarse texture. Oh, my fingernails are dirty, but a real nice coarse texture. You can see the fibers and stuff. So it's just something fun. I thought that would be, uh, I had never tried to paint on burlap. So I just painted gesso over it and put it, used the putty knife to put the gesso on on a thick coat because it had a lot of holes in between the in between the uh, the fibers because it's burlap's pretty coarse but yeah it's got this nice kind of coarse texture you know you can see the texture in it but it just I don't know I thought it'd be fun to how paint much it is for? we're trying to sell this painting for how much Carson and then how much do you get hundred. well I think I was gonna get 125 and you're gonna get 75 right no. what was their percentage deal 100. I know but what's that percent that's right, 50-50, that's right, all right, so I guess you get 100 and I get 100. Yeah, I told him we would split the profits if we sold it. If anybody wants to buy our painting, it's Carson and I painted it together, we're going to work on it some more, and it's 50-50, we're 50-50 partners in this painting. Yeah. And that is not nice, I know I know what, that, what you're trying to say with that bear, and I don't appreciate it. You're timed out. You'll pay seven dollars. Well, you're gonna have to get a job, Chucky Gomez, because we're not giving paintings away over here. This is quality art. Carson's about to be the biggest painter since Picasso and Basquiat times ten, and Dali, and uh, you know, a hundred bucks. This kid's genius. He's smart, the smartest kid in his class almost. Yeah. That's at least what we tell him, just so we can encourage him. <laughs> yeah. He's the smart. The teacher said that you're reading at a, what grade are you reading books at now? What? I heard you're reading, you're reading really like advanced. Like, this grade books. Sometimes. And what grade are you in? Uh, second grade. You're in second grade? Yeah. And you're reading fifth grade books? Yeah. So proud of him. That's my nephew. He's a genius like his uncle. So he brings a little tear to my eye. Like Just to carry the torch of the creativity here in the family. Eight dollars is the right bid. Get out of here! Eight dollars. This guy said he'll give us eight dollars, Carson. What do we say to that? No. No you. way. Give us ten thousand. Yeah. Now we're mad. Ten thousand. Yeah. Never said that. Said that. Some loser. Well, it's not nice to call people losers. Just some broke person that probably voted for Trump. What do you think about Donald Trump, Carson? He's not very. He's not very good. I agree. I don't care for him. I like Roosevelt. You like Roosevelt? Yeah, Roosevelt. He was a quality president. You're right. Yeah. Theodore or Franklin Delano? We Theodore. had two Roosevelt presidents. Yeah, Theodore. Yeah, Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. He was. Do you remember what cowboys he was with? The Western. In the Western, but what was the name of their cowboy group? It was like DMX, the Rough Riders. Yeah. yeah. The 
Wait, What's what? better, old DMX or new DMX? Old DMX. Yeah, word. Man, this kid's got, he's got it. Old DMX, he knows. He doesn't even know who DMX is, I hope. Huh? We're ready to paint. We're ready to paint, man. Yep. We gotta get these suckers to give us $200 for this painting we made in four hours. We're gonna be rich. Uh, oh, wait. I mean, these quality people that watch this garbage. We're, still we're, we're doing good. We, we like you guys. Keep watching. What do you think about Bernie Sanders? Yeah, we could do that. That's how I feel too. I like Bernie. All right, what are we doing here, Carson? We're going to add some, like, gray or blue. I think we need, yeah. we talked about red, but I'm think, I'm feeling blue now. Yeah, because, um, you gonna, I'm where's your little, can you get your stool? Because I don't want you standing on that, yeah. that stool, that chair, because it's wobbly. too wobbly, yeah. yeah okay. I don't want you to fall. Yeah, get your little stool. He's a good kid. It's my nephew. He's awesome. Yang Gang? No, Carson's not. He's a smart kid. He knows better than to waste his vote on Andrew Yang. A vote for Yang is a vote against Bernie and a vote for Trump, basically, guys. You gotta vote for Bernie. There's only one choice for Bernie. He's out of the hospital. He's ready to Dang. win this. I'm ready to pay. Let's pay. Let's do it. Let me adjust this exposure. See, look at the issue we have here, Carson. You see how everything's kind of washed out a little bit? It's a little too bright, so I'm going to turn the exposure down here, three-step decrease, and see what that looks like. Oh, that looks better, see? This Not as washed out. Mama Sita. Hey, burger lover. Who's your favorite burger viewer, burger buddy? Do you have a favorite person? Yeah. Well, besides me. I mean, do you have a favorite viewer? Is there somebody that you think is cool? I don't know. Yeah, good call. They're all kind of just bad apples. Good eye. Good. This kid's good. He's smart. I like him. He's good. He's good. They're all bad apples. Good call, Carson. <laughs> now, what do we say? Now, what do we say if we see a burger buddy at Walmart and he says, get in my van? What do we say? No. 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 Stranger danger. There you go. Smart no. kid. What if someone's like, hey, I'm friends with your uncle. Do you want to, I got some puppies in my van. Do you want to come, come here and hang out with me? It's a, Josh is with me too, maybe. What do we say to them? No, stranger danger. Stranger danger. Smart kid. That's right. All right. But what if they have money in the van? It's yeah. still no. That's good. It doesn't matter what they have. Always no. And then we go and tell mommy and daddy immediately. Or you. Well, I'm probably not around because I'll be. You know, trying to find Patricia in Vietnam or wherever it's Trump's in it. Uh, she was going to be your aunt, but life happened, person. Sometimes life happens. She's not dead, but she got deported, we think, back to Vietnam. Vietnam. Trump sent her back. He's a bad man. Took the love of my life away from me. Sometimes you only meet one perfect angel, perfect ten, as she was. But Patricia was pretty nice. She was pretty nice. You're exactly right. Smart kid. Like my stepmom. That could have been no. She would have been your stepmom. She would have been your step aunt. Yeah. Or no, she would have been your real aunt, not step aunt. Cool. But she just some things just aren't meant to work out. And that was one of those things. Beautiful. She was kind of beautiful. That's like my stepmom. Like my that stepmom. That would have been your yeah. Your stepmom's kind of beautiful. Yeah, there you go. Yep, and it's probably good that you're not. Attracted to your stepmom, that's yeah, good. You, can go you don't want to be one of those videos. Go get this stuff ready. Uh, okay. Okay, what's our first color here, my assistant? Blue. We're doing blue first. All right, uh, where's your. Do we have a little table thing? I thought I had another little folding table. Are we using this instead? Oh, we had another cart, but that, that dude took our cart, didn't he? What dude? Oh, Brad, remember I had that, uh, I don't know if you saw that painting cart I had, and then I found it out in the woods, and then he was like, oh, he took my painting cart, and, or my cart, so I had to give it back to him. Yeah, Brad. Yeah, thanks, Brad. Yeah, Brad. Yeah, Brad. Yeah, Brad. <laughs> thanks, Brad. Yeah, thanks, Brad. Brad. Brad was trying to be mean to us. Brad trying to mess with us, bro. Brad, you, uh, 
But you know what? A country boy can survive. Yeah. A country boy can survive. I see that. Okay. Audio is fine. Well, we do have a phone. We do have the fan on. So did you put some Sharon Jones on? Some of these people need to learn about Sharon Jones. It's good stuff. The audio's bad? It could be the fan. Is the audio messed up? Did the audio get worse whenever I turn the turn this on? Wait a minute. It's better to turn this off. Is the audio better now? Is that better? I can't watch. Audio's too messed up. Is that okay? No, it might be making noises and things. You said the audio might be making noise. It's better? Oh, okay. Maybe it had something to do with the Bluetooth. Sometimes the Bluetooth interferes with Streamlabs. I don't know why it can cause it to have uh, interference. Let's see if I connect to Bluetooth. Sometimes it fixes it. Yeah, tell me if the audio is messed up. All right, let's see. Is that is that okay now that I reconnected to, is it okay? Is that better? Is it better? Hey, Luke Nuke, what's up, buddy? Is that better? That's good, yeah. Alright, so we want to put some blue on here. I say, here's what I think. We need to kind of thin it out a little bit because we paint too because th- I want it to show through some of the other layers we have. I don't want to just paint blue over. We don't want to. Hey, wait, listen. We don't want to paint blue over everything because then you won't see all the other beautiful layers we've created. We don't want to paint it over everything, but I do want to block out some spots of blue so we can do some drawings in there. Yeah, I want to block out kind of this How about we start drawing some stuff and then painting the colors? Yeah. Oh, it's dry. Let me see. I got some. Where's the oil pastels? Oh, there you go. Good job. Yeah, we use oil stick that way because if we use chalk, the chalk blows off, but the oil stick really sticks in there. Here's a black. Let's see. Do we want black? Let's use blue because we already wanted to use blue. I'll use purple. Wait, wait, wait. I want to show you what some ideas to draw first. Okay. All right, let's do, do you know how to draw a cube? All right. Draw a cube. We're drawing a cube. <laughs> All right, so here's how you draw a cube. You draw a cube up in this white spot, and I'll draw one here. All right, first we start with a square. Let's draw about this big, a square. It's easier if you draw a little bigger with this stick, but oh wait, wait, don't don't go over it. Just leave it like that. Now draw a line off the corner. Very good. Now draw another line here, going the same way. Now connect those lines. Now draw another one going the same, the same angle as those other two, like this. And then you want to stop the line at that corner. Now connect the dot, connect the corners. And we got a cube! That's easy, right? Now look, I'll show you how to... Now you can take this cube, and we can do a... uh, We can... We can turn it into an invisible cube, where you can see through it. Let me show you how to do that. All you do is take the cube you already have, draw a line here, about to the middle, and then, see this line here? Connect that line. Connect it to this one. Now connect this corner to this corner. The line. Now it's an invisible cube. You see how it's a little easier when it's bigger? Because these things are kind of big. Alright. Now we can draw more cubes or another stuff. Now let's draw some lines coming off the cube. Let's draw some coming off the corner like a sunshine. Off the corners. When skies are gray, I don't know why, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Patricia. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. 
Oh, dinosaur what could you do with dinosaur legs? Okay, now let's put circles on these. Circles? No, 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 like this. I'm doing like this, so they look like a self. A circle on the end of the lines. And now it looks like a some kind of virus or something. That's cool. Yeah. All right, let's draw something draw different. A dinosaur, so they let's draw a dinosaur. Okay, let's I'm switch colors. colors. Let's switch colors. Okay. We don't want it all to be blue. Like kind of let's do a black. You already got one? Here's a black. This is black. This is black. Watch how I do a T-Rex. Okay, you draw a T-Rex and then I'll draw a Baranus. Oh, draw it bigger, buddy. You need to draw it big. Because when it, with these, you can't get a lot of fine detail with something this thick. So you got to make it bigger. And this is a lot of space, you know? You're used to drawing on a little piece of paper. you got this whole... You could draw a big dinosaur. Here, don't color it in. We're going to paint it in. Just draw the outline. Hold on. Let's let's do it. Let's do it over here, Mark. Here, wait, wait, wait. Let me wait. Let me draw. I want to draw big. All right. We want it to face this way because it's not good. To, if we drew the dinosaur, look. Pay attention. If we had the dinosaur facing this way, it would look kind of weird. And then people's eyes, they would see the dinosaur looking this way, so they would look here. So when you're, something's on the edge, usually you want it looking towards the middle of the painting, so that it, so that it makes the, the viewer's eyes look through the painting instead of looking off to the side. Sometimes you might want it to look off the side if, if that's what you're going for. But 90% of the time. You want it to look towards the center of the, the middle of the canvas. So like if something's over here, you probably want it looking this way. If something's over here, you want it looking this way towards the center. Okay, what we're going to do But you might want to have them, you know, a series of things walking off the edge, you know, so that doesn't always apply. You know, but that's a good rule of thumb. But say if you had like guys walking and you maybe you wanted it to walk off the edge, so that would be okay. I'm just saying usually you want it to look towards the center, but not always. It depends on what you're going for. Okay, let me turn this down. It's a little loud. It's a little loud. I feel like I got a lot. Yo. Okay. Um, let's start drawing our dinosaur. I'm gonna draw one here, and you draw here. Or how about we take turns? Here, you stand next to me here. And we take turns drawing it, okay? So I'm gonna draw the eye. I'm gonna draw the eye. I'm gonna draw part of the head. Let's just draw like one thing. So I'm drawing an eye. Now you draw the other eye. Very good. Now I'm gonna draw that part of the head into the mouth. That's to like the nose and the mouth to serve the mouth. So you can just finish. Oh, you're giving him nostrils? Okay, I'm gonna draw it here. That's a mouth. I'm gonna draw some off the back. There's uh, maybe some spikes. And come in, or draw the head, and then we'll put the spikes on afterwards. No, 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 no. Have it come down here. This is where his neck is down here. But there we go. Now I'm gonna start putting some teeth in there. I'm gonna draw some teeth. A couple teeth too. Oh, try to try using the edge, the side of the thing. You'll get a better line with the side. Find the point. See how that. If you draw with this part, it makes a big mark. You want it to be a thinner line. Get one here. This one gets you back. Yeah. This one's meat eater. Then we have to call our meat eater. We gotta give him some meat to eat, right? Yeah. Oh no! You cut his head off. What did you do that for? Oh. I know, but yeah. well, don't get ahead of yourself. You gotta, how's he gotta have a body now? Has he got a shirt on? What's that all about? You wanna have, we could have him wearing a shirt, I guess, but we can put the shirt on later. Um, let's do it here. Have the tail come down. Here's one leg. Can you draw him another leg coming down like that? There's, that's where his crotch is right now. Um, there you go. Kind of make it like mine, so it looks similar. Very good. I'm good. Bring his foot in. Bring his foot in here. That's where the ankle would be. And then maybe a little elbow kind of thing, or knee right there. Not an elbow. And then 
Yeah, I know. I messed up. Uh, hey, we got a donation. Tell them thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the $10, Josh AK. Thanks, man. All right. Let's draw. We got to give him his little arms because T-Rex has little tiny arms, right? Yeah, little tiny arms. I'll give him a little one here. Maybe he can't come down here because there's not much room to go. If you draw, you don't want to draw over your other lines, you know. It'll look better that way. Yeah, there you go. That's about long enough. I'm going to draw him a little, some little, little hook hand. There we go. Nice. Now let's connect this line here. Look how it's like this. I know. We kind of messed it up a little bit. But it's okay. Let's give him some spikes on his head. Yeah. Maybe give him a couple, too. Yeah, I like your spice. That was cool. I think I drew mine a little too big, but yours looked better. Yeah, try to use the, the edge. See how it kind of get. It'll get like a the edge of it. You get a better line. There you go. It's hard to get a good line on this too because it's really coarse. Because this is like burlap. It's not canvas. On canvas, we'd be able to get a better line. Yeah, see the canvas, we'd be able to get a better line. This is really coarse, so it's giving it a lot of texture. But that's cool. We're going for it. That's what we're going for. We want it to have texture. How did we just get how many dollars did we just get? Ten dollars. Is that fifty fifty? No. Should we do that fifty fifty too? I thought it was just the pain. Someone's gotta buy the pain. And then you get a hundred and I get a hundred. We're negotiating okay, business Can deals over on? here. Can I put the shirt on? You gotta keep your shirt on, yes. Oh, you mean a shirt on for him? Oh no, let's are we putting a shirt on? We could just paint him a color. I think it might look better. Oh should we what what kind of shirt do you want him to have on there? We could put a shirt on him if you want. It might I think if we put a shirt on it might make it a little too complicated. Maybe we should just paint him a color later. See, so we're just drawing these shapes in, and then we can go and color them in like a coloring book with some paint later. Hey, looks like Let's draw some other shapes. I got an idea. I'm right here. Okay, let's draw some things off of this thing. Let's fill in some lines here. Oh, wait, wait. I don't know if I like the black on there. Let's see. Might be a little much. That looks okay. You gonna draw in the middle of the lines like I am? Try to get a little pressure a little harder so it really gets in there better. Cause you gotta... There you go. That looks better. Yeah, it's not easy to, uh, to draw on this course. This isn't like regular paper. It takes a little more to get it in there. Very cool. Kind of like Basquiat. Very cool. All right. Yeah, he was a cool artist. Um, let's do some more shapes coming off. Here, I'll show you this other thing I do. I do this thing with the, uh, I draw like, here we go. And then draw that. And then draw, connect the dots, connect the lines, points. And now you did a hat. You can make it be five or six sided. Now let's draw other shapes and connect the lines to these and it'll look like these three-dimensional shapes that connect. Like a like a web, a grid, a geometric grid. So connect some to this one here, and then you can just connect the corners basically. Isn't that fun? And then we can paint the different colors in there. And it'll look really pretty. Look how easy it is. It looks like a big web. Let's do one here. Uh-oh, my, uh, I gotta tear some of my paper off to get to the edge. You gotta do that yet? Yeah. If I can do this, do that. Don't put too many lines in. Don't feel, that's not what I'm doing, person. Let's keep with the, oh no! Oh no. Let's try to, uh, let's see. Let's see. Hold on, now I'm going to just draw some spikes coming off to go to the corner just to kind of give it a transition. That's cool. Yeah, I don't do too many. I like it like that. Okay. 
Let's do one here too. I think it needs one here to make it make it balanced. That looks cool. What do you think? Let's after we do some a good amount of work, let's step back and look what it, see what it looks like as a whole. You know? Yeah, let's sit back on our let's take a quick break and decide what we want to do next. Just we don't want to do too much at once. Just kind of react and see what see what this looks like. We need to do something over here. What about putting another dinosaur over there? What's another dinosaur you maybe? We could put one in the air flying like a pterodactyl. Because you like flying. I could help you draw a pterodactyl. Well, also, to be oh, those are scary. Like that yeah. like be like a it might be hard to draw the detail on something. That we're going to have to draw things bigger because we can't draw a lot of detail with because when you're working with a bigger, this oil stick and things, and you're doing a bigger painting, you need to make things bigger usually. Yeah, they're not cool. You can make a bunch of little small things, but it'll take forever. You know, we want to we want to finish this painting in a couple days so we can hopefully sell it and move on to our next masterpiece. Like, yeah, we gotta paint something for mammal too. Like to remember writing name. Well, we'll think of the name whenever we finish it because then we'll know what it look. We don't know what it's gonna look like yet. I like to figure out the name based on what it looks like after the finish. What color should we paint the dinosaur? Kind of. I think neon green might look cool. Yeah, it's kind of like blue on his eyes. And we can paint that line off of the neck to, you know, we'll fix that with the paint. When we paint, we'll just go around the line and then we'll leave that line there. And we might have to take a little paint or something to fill in some of that if we want. This is harder to do with that texture. We should have picked, picked an easier canvas for it. But maybe we want to leave that line to look like that, you know? Maybe that's the style. Yeah, like, we might not want to see how we did here. We might want to leave this little gap around the edges and just paint, like, a little bit so you can still see that underpainting a little bit. That's what I want to paint off of this a little bit more wide. I might take some, some oil. Traffic. Oil sticks? You want to mess with that while I'm taking a break? Yeah. You want to draw on that? Here. Use this as your table. You can set it on that table right there. Just move it over here so they can see it. Here, face this way so they can see you. Here, face this way. Stand over here on this side. Person's gonna show you guys how to how to draw. <laughs> Only wholesome streams on the Burger Planet. All right, all right, buddy. Okay, we'll let the kid do his thing. Well, I'm trying to show him some different stuff. All right. Get some oil crayons. Some oil sticks. There you go. Yep. I have oil crayons. Yeah, oil crayons is also. That's also a. Uh, that's also a corrector as well. Or oil stick. Which color are you going with first? Draw it out first and then fill it in. That's cool. Like Remember to kind of do it bigger because you've got a lot of space here. You know, I don't, know, I don't, I don't you know this is a lot bigger than a little piece of paper at home. Yeah, I'm Make it bigger. Are you trying to draw over my lines? Yeah. Don't draw over my lines. Do it in your own drawing. Okay. I already painted that over. Yeah, yeah draw, draw an original thing. Just ignore the stuff in the background. We're going to paint over it. You drawing a big T Rex again? Yeah, draw a T Rex if you want. Or uh, maybe a Velociraptor. He's pretty. You got the tail. Show him how you draw it. Do it however you want. There's no wrong way to do it. We're just, all that matters is you have fun. And you'll learn as you go. It's okay if it doesn't work out how you want, but try as best as you can. You know, you'll get better as you go. Isn't it a lot easier to draw on that than it was this? Yeah. A lot easier. Yeah, right? Look how you take it. Well, that's masonite, so it's flat. Oh, don't draw on the edges, bud. We'll have, we can paint it when you're done, the edges, anyway. We'll paint them some kind of color or something. Or maybe we'll just paint them black. Oh, that's cool. That's his little uh, toes. Yeah, he has, like, the sharp one. Talons. Yeah. 
Bobs. Instead of drawing just the shape of the body, draw it to there and then draw the arm and then draw it around, you know? It'll look better. Because there's no way to erase that oil stick that's on there. You can just paint over it or something. There you go. It's, good. it's a little thin right there, but it's the right idea. It's okay if it looks a little wonky, you know? That, that'll be the charm of it. You'll get better at it. Oh, big claws. I like that. It looks yeah. like Wolverine. How many arms are you going to have? Two? Yeah. You usually have two. Sometimes you might want to draw a monster with like a bunch of arms or something, like an octopus or something with a bunch of arms. That might look cool too. Sometimes you might want to draw more eyes on it and stuff to make it look cool. Do you think Ginger's kids have souls? You don't think so? Probably not. Yeah, I did connect it though. Yeah, it looks better. It's, it's, it's getting better, yeah. yeah. I'd make this arm a little thicker, maybe. Maybe draw another line here and connect it so it's a little thicker. Yeah, it looks better. There you go. That way they look the same width. That looks better. Yeah, no, That's I'm... better, yeah. You didn't connect the line that time. Nice, you're learning. Now make it a head. Now think about how the head's going to look. you got to have the, the bottom chin and the, and the, the top That's of the, the mouth. Feel like... Then you leave an opening for the mouth and the, and the snout. It's a little tough, ain't it? You just gotta kind of picture in your mind what it's gonna look like a crocodile mouth, kind of, you know? Yeah, I might draw a crocodile. You know how a crocodile looks, right? Oh, I did a cool one at the crocodile place too, you should watch. I went to, well, I went to Gator work, Gatorland in Florida. It was really cool. What'd you think of, uh, what'd you think of Freakish Greed Carnival? It was cool. Did that, did that, did, were you blown away when you saw my head in the fish tank? Was that cool? And you're like, I'm gonna be rich. Yeah. I'm gonna make so much money. Like, was it cool seeing Uncle Josh and that play to act? It was two people. Yeah. How are you two people at once? I used my green screen. You, you've seen the green screen. Pretty cool, huh? So I, think I, I can teach you how to do that if you want. I think I should do that because. Oh no, you connected the line again. Where's his head gonna be? Yeah, I know, but I told you not to do that. You didn't learn. Don't connect the lines, buddy. You cut his head off. It doesn't look as good. Remember, you want to leave that line open. Okay, is that for his jaw? We can have his head go up like this. Let me show you. Maybe that's his jaw. I'll just leave it like it is now. Like that, and his head's up. And the hair, he's going like this. Look. That was pretty good. Now where's his other eye going to go? You going to put it there? That was good. A little smaller because it's in the distance. That's cool. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that was good. Show him. Yeah, show him the bottom of it. There you go. Pretty cool. Oh, it's the bottom down here. It's like he's on his hind leg, legs going, Rah! We can fix this little boogered up spot with some paint. Yeah, I've got some heat in There are no mistakes, just happy accidents. Yeah. Maybe it'll cost something better, you know? Something yeah, to paint it's there instead here. to paint, you know, to fix the problem. There's a little, you just gotta come up with little solutions. That's his lips. Oh, that's cool. Nice detail. You need tongue too. Nah, I, don't, I think the tongue is going to be too much stuff in there and it's going to get too busy. I wouldn't do a tongue. It'll be confusing, maybe. Because it's going to get... If you would have drawn the head bigger, maybe a tongue, but if you draw a tongue now, it's going to be too many lines in there. Don't draw a tongue now. 
I'll let you build another two. Yeah, you don't want too much stuff in there. You won't, you won't be able to see what it is very well. Forget about that, too. Let's get back to our big painting. Okay, this is so far. Where should I put this painting? Huh? Well, let's just put it over here on the side for now, and then we'll get back to that later when we're waiting for yeah, something to dry. Get, get back to work. Let's get back to the grindstone. Kid has to tell. Hey, he's learning. What do they just say? Oh well, they're just there's some hater in the chat. There's always gonna be haters that try to tell, tear you down. We don't worry about it. That's just part of that's just part of new creative stuff. People are always gonna tell you it's no good. We try to tell you to stop and stuff. Don't listen to the haters. What are we doing now? Colored it? Yeah, I think we should draw one more spike here. That looks good. All right, let's draw something on that other side. Look, you're still. Hey, thanks for the twenty dollars. Thanks, mind blown watcher. Thanks. Twenty Dino Burgers. Thanks, man. Yay, Dino Burgers. That's why. Let's get the cash cow. That's why I got. I'm gonna hang out with my nephew Mark. Hey, I just. You're bringing all the milkshakes to the yard. I hope. Yeah. I hope. I know. Some of the what are we going to draw? What do you think? Mm, we don't have any diamonds. You sure how to draw a diamond? Okay, let's draw a big diamond. On You draw one here. Okay. All right. Let's do a line at the top. A diagonal line coming down. A diagonal line on the other side. Connect the connect the lines here. So we got connect those lines. Draw a line to the middle. Another line to the corner. Okay, so you're gonna have to draw two. So draw like that to fix it. Now draw a line down here to the bottom to the middle. Draw a line from the middle to the corner. Now connect. Oh, actually, yours looks better than mine. Now draw, connect those corners to the bottom, and then one here. That's a diamond. We made a diamond. We made a diamond. We drew a diamond. And my hand. Now we ready to make some else. Trying to go. Burger Point is the only streamer I watch, and don't lose hope for humanity. That's what we're trying to do around here. Make the world a better I place, you. not a worse Thank place. You. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. What? What did you say? Make you. I can't hear what you're saying. Make you. Make you. Come on, we're gonna work. Let's get back to our drawing. Okay, now let's see what we want to do now. Let's draw some of this webbing thing. Or wait, let's draw a dinosaur right here over your other thing. We'll paint out. We'll paint that over. Maybe draw a head right here. Let's do a brontosaurus. Or no, wait, wait, no, pterodactyl, right? How are we gonna do it? Draw a big long beak. A triangle for a beak, one triangle for the bottom of the beak. There we go, and then one for the top. Yeah. Now, now pterodactyls—they got a triangle at the back of their head like that. Yeah. Then it comes down like this. I'll show you how to draw it. Draw the neck right there. Now draw the wing coming down like that, and then draw another wing for the other, the back of it, and it has a tail. And a little foot here, and a little arm right there. Maybe another arm for the other side. And then an eye, and another eye. Pterodactyl. Yeah, it's a big pterodactyl. What are you gonna? No, draw something else. Draw a brontosaurus down there. Uh, it's the one with the long neck. Draw the neck here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. See? Now draw his chest and his leg. Don't connect the lines for the leg though. Come down. There you go. There you go. Draw up like a little boot. There we go. Maybe take your line a little farther up. That way. Okay. Now draw a place for his body and then another leg coming down. Very good. 
Now bring that up. There we go. Now we're going to draw another line for his, a longer line for his body. Like a puppy dog belly. Now bring, draw another leg. Oh, no. Okay, that can be the leg that's behind the other one. That's fine. Would have been better to do the line around here. Made that one skinny. That's okay. Okay, now let's bring this one down for this leg. Yeah. Now let's bring a long tail down the back. It's real long. I'll connect it. Yeah. And then we just need like, I don't know. We need some eyes. eyes. Let's need slowly. Ah, please. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, please. Oh, goodness gracious. A leaf is in his mouth. Let me say, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, he's eating a leaf. He's eating a because he's an herbivore. Yeah. What does that mean? He's eating a leaf eater. He eats, yeah, he eats vegetables and plants. Yeah. You know any other herbivores? Triceratops. What's an omnivore? T-Rex, which is... No, what's an omnivore? No, no, he's a car he's a something different. What's he? Carnivore. Carnivore. What's an omnivore mean? That they, means they eat they plants both. and meat. Yep, they eat both. Which is like a boss. Very good. Like a not like a us humans, we eat meat and vegetables. We're omnivore. Oh, well, some people are vegetarian or vegan. That's you know depends on people. Some people are or keto. Some people just eat meat. Yeah, some people just eat meat. Like Uncle Josh used to. Why? I don't know. I just ate too much meat. All right, what are we gonna draw here? We need something here. Maybe some more of those triangles. What do you think? You like those more of those? That'll be cool because it'll cut. It'll bring in that theme over here a little bit. Or you think you just leave it? I think we just leave the background. I think we need something here. I'll make a little raptor. I'll make a little. We need something here. Let's draw our triangle thing. Draw that triangle pinwheel thing I showed you. You remember how to do it? Here, wait, wait. Don't do too many lines. Do this one here. There you go. Now give us one here. And let's do one coming down here. And, there. and then maybe one triangle coming down. Let's see one coming up right here. Don't fill in too much. I want to leave some of that background in. Let's draw a corner connecting these. Let's connect the dots here. Very good. Now let's put a little triangle, just a triangle there. I think that looks good. Okay. Very okay, nice. So, so. Let's maybe do another triangle coming off this thing to give it some uh, balance. There we go. Balance. There we go. I think we need a triangle here now, too. All right, let's step back. Ooh, triangles don't have rounded corners, buddy. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right, let's look, uh, look back here. Let's take a look at it. I think it looks cool. I think we're ready to paint some of the shapes in. What do you think? Yeah. And then we can leave our background as it is, and it already looks cool. Yeah. We'll leave the background like it is, and it's already painted cool. We'll just fill in the color in our shapes, and think we got something here. Yeah. Water break. Yeah. Let's get some. Let's drink a little water. Hey, don't lose your crack your oil stick, buddy. I know. Don't throw it under here. I want to keep them together so we keep track of them. Let's put it back in our. We got organization's important, so we don't lose things. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. And being organized is important too, because you waste a lot of time looking for stuff. If you have it organized well, it saves you time in the long run than having to look through all your stuff every. Hey, 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 no, 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 no! I don't want you falling down, buddy. You're cracking right on the concrete. Don't yes, do don't stand up there. Yeah. Well, I did it just to nail that nail in for the corner. But I was balancing against the wall. Okay. I tried to do it safe. Against the wall, balancing. Ow, yeah, this is my nephew. Flat. That's why it says nephew in the description. Who is it? You're my net. You're my. I'm your uncle, right? That's what we told you to tell people, right? Yeah. Because it's the truth. Yeah, they don't know. Because I don't take care of you. I'm your uncle, Josh. You have a real dad. And I hope they don't know me. They don't know you. Your name is Little Burger. Little slider. Little slider. 
He's a little slider. We got code names. What? Well, did they just say my name? No. Okay. A little slider. Okay. We told him. All right, let's get our colors ready. Let's do uh, let's do this light green first. Light green. You're gonna need your you're gonna need your you're gonna need your stool, buddy. Let's get it. No, no, no. That's too big. We need something smaller to paint this. Let me. I'll pick it out. Hold on. That's a palette knife. That's too big. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I told you I'd get it, man. Just give me a second. Okay, man. Okay, man. Chill, dude. Look, guys. We've done all this. It has dinosaur features. I want to paint this. Oil. All right. I say this one's would be a good one because we can use the edge of it like this. Let me get enough paint on there. Yeah. Let's use one of these. Well, you're... Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on. We're not. We gotta mix our. We gotta mix our painting medium first, though. We don't just want to paint with the paint out of the tube because it takes forever to dry that way. We need to. Uh... I think I know what color we should paint our diamond. Like that kind of color. We need to start mixing. Wait, paint. wait, wait. Let me see what, I think we're gonna use a different color or a different brush. That one's too big, I think. Let me switch it to something else. It's a little too thick. This one might be better. Yeah, there's dust in them. I know what color we see is. Where's our you see oh here's my other painting brushes. Let's see what I got in here. Okay, we got this one. This one will be okay. This one will probably work pretty good. Let's use that. Hold on, we gotta mix our painting medium though. With baby oil? We have to use painting oil. This is my paintbrush. This is wobbly. Tell them they better be good because you can read and you'll ban them if they're mean. We'll ban them if they're mean, won't we? That means they can't chat anymore because they've been banned. They don't want to be banned. They're going to be banned. They're going to be banned. They'll be good. So, good people, for goodness sake. Uncle Josh, I don't know what color we should paint. Well, let's work on our two yeah, yeah. first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We gotta do that one first, bud. Do you have to use baby oil? Well, that's for cleaning the brushes, not for painting. Okay, well. You're banned. You're banned. Whoever just said that, you're banned. <laughs> banned, not banned. That's for none of these things. You're banned. Alright, let's put some processed linseed oil in there. That makes our paint go farther. It'll also give it a little shine. Give it some of that. Uh huh? What's the shine Uh, just make it a little bit a little bit of a gloss so it makes shiny, like so it'll look like it's wet. Okay, let's put a little yeah, bit of this like cobalt dryer. This is the stuff you gotta be real careful with because it's really toxic. You don't wanna lick your finger or anything with this stuff. It's really, it makes it dry quicker though. Probably didn't need that. I put way too much in here, but it's diluted. Now I put some, this is just some, uh, some solvent so it makes the paint thinner. Yep. Now let's use our palette knife and uh, I'll mix this up here. Let me smash it down here. You wanna help me with this? Yep. Let's take it. Gently, we don't want to make it, you don't want to fling that in your eye. Here, let me do it, actually, I don't want to just smash that in there. Yeah, you got to be careful. That looks pretty good, mixed up good. Now, with that paint that's on this palette knife, I'll take my brush and clean the palette knife off with it so that I don't waste the paint, because paint's expensive, we don't want to waste any of it, the best we can. Sure, a little bit will get wasted here and there, but that's the price of doing business. 
Alright. Wait, wait, wait. Do be gentle. Don't just throw it everywhere. You don't want to get it on your face or something. Why? What happened? Because it's not good to get this paint on here. Mm -hmm. I just told you it's got some toxic stuff in it. Yeah. Oh, it's too thin. It's not covering up our colors, is it? We're going to have to do a different couple coats. Now it's okay if you don't get it all the way. Don't paint over the black line, just paint it to the black line. It's okay if there's a little gap in between the black line and the stuff. It's okay. Try not to get it. Hopefully somebody buys this painting for us, from us, right? Yeah. Then we can ship it to them. They gotta pay for shipping though, or come pick it up. Yep. Because we can't afford to do that out of our money. We'll ship it wherever though, and I'll, I'll help people create it. If somebody wants to buy. It. Guys, we're selling this painting, and we're done for two hundred dollars. Carson's getting half the money to save for something nice he wants to get. Fifty-fifty. Fifty-fifty. We're both gonna. We're going paint. We're partners on this one. Yep. I'm not buying more paint. I got plenty of paint. Well, we will have to I'm gonna buy a new van so my van van trim doesn't break down. It I'm smells like gas bad when I drive, don't it? Yeah, I'm getting so new. You wanna I'm try to do the face in it? Or maybe do it. Add Some so you kind of use the edge, and I'm using the corner of the brush to kind of get in there. A bit. I usually use these flat brushes because they fill in colors good. You need to get that arm. I'll use the flat. See, I use the tip of the brush like that. Look at, see how when I got the edge a little bit, it's filling in those blanks a little bit. You know? You liking it? Cool. Yeah, he's fun. He's got some character. It looks like a. I don't know what. What color should we do? Fine, right? Oh, there they go. Uh oh. Let's fill this a little closer. Yeah, I think it's closer. And this needs a little something here. Over here. Oh, this foot didn't get painted yet. It was green, so we missed it. They already looked green. Yeah, that's cool. Cute. Yeah. We just need to let him dry. Let him dry. Well, I think we need to put some white on it to make it pop more. The white will help it be thicker, too. It's more opaque. We're going to add some white. We're going to have to add some white. We sold the van. Yeah, I went to Thailand to try to get Carson a new aunt. Yeah. That's this boy needs an aunt. Well, I won't. I'm poor. I don't have any aunts. Boy's got no aunts. He wants an aunt. That way you get more Christmas presents, right? You need them.
As I, as I, as I, wait, 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 watch. I'm trying to show you how to do it. Oh, so you rub some of that off, you got too much. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You got too much of the liquid on there. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you how to do it. So look, you put it, I paint this shape here, and then when I go out, I pull the brush away to the, like this, to get the corner. See how I'm doing that? And I use the corner of the brush. So it gets a nice corner shape better. See how I'm pulling it away a little bit as I go out towards that flare, towards that corner? See? Does that make it yeah, easier? But look how easy. Look, it looks a little bit cooler. Yeah, see? It's cool because. I like that black in there, it gives it a little shading. Here. There you go. Very good. Am I cooler than Uncle Todd today? Yeah. Hear that, Todd? My nephew says I'm the best uncle today. Hey, but look. It's running through it. It makes it look a little bit cooler, too. I thought it should. I'm the I, cool uncle. Yeah. That looks like I the think, white. Remember the we'll white? Do, maybe we'll use white for the teeth and the eyes. Let's draw, let's paint over his body because his body is see-through. Watch out. I don't want to get paint on you. Here. Let's get, move your stool over, move your stool over here. No, move it towards me. Let's paint. Maybe we should let him dry a little bit. Oh, wait, wait. Let's paint him green. Yeah, because I, you can't see the color, you know? Let's paint over the other. Yeah, you can see this color better. Here, help me. Get the brush. Sometimes you got to paint over stuff two or three times. You got too much liquid in it, Carson. Here, squeeze some of it out. Right there you go. Try to get the thicker stuff towards the edges, maybe. Or also, instead of having your paint brushed down, yeah, have it sideways and it won't drip as much. It's okay, we'll fix it. It's not a big deal. They're not mistakes, just, what are they? Happy accident. We can fix it. Yeah. We can even do this. If you make something while the paint, if it's dry right here and you make a mistake, look, you can take a, take a towel, watch this, and I can uh, smear in the other, but I can get the paint off. See? Kind of made it look worse, though. I should just left it. Oh, come on, buddy. Don't get it on my chair. Here, hold your brush, buddy. This is Green Day. They used to be a punk band in the 90s. Yeah. You ever heard Green Day? Pretty cool. Oh, it was punk rock, man. It was a different time, man. It was the 90s, Carson. It was a wild ride. MTV still played music videos. No one had heard of Snooki. It was a good time. Not like today. Man, you'll be old enough to go to that skate park sometime. That one in the Baker Park. Yeah, you can go on one. What's cool? You can go I saw a big contest. What's your favorite music these days? Any songs you know? Old Town Road. Are you tired of it yet? Have you heard it too many times? I've heard it a lot. I'm tired of it. Well, I liked it at first, but I'm just tired of it. I heard it too much. They play it. No, they just play it everywhere I go. It's like you go to Walmart and they play it. You go 
in the car and it's on the radio. It's just like, it's everywhere. It's just too much. It makes me kind of get bored with it. This looks better, Donna. I like the green underneath. It'll actually look out, work out pretty good. Yeah, look, it's, it's a lot funnier. Yeah, we can always draw the lines. We can always draw the lines back at the end when we're done, too, to give it more definition. Yeah, we just need to move on to our painting. I'm going to draw some little toes, too. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah. Let's step back and look at it, because we did a lot of work here. Let's stick back and check it out. Oh, it's examiner. Examiner work. We're not gonna draw on it right now though. Uh where's our can you put that in the glove box thing in the table? Can you reach it? Here, I'll get it. I'll get it. You're a little too short. Thanks. Just a little Okay. We still got two more let's do the dinosaurs and then we'll worry about the shapes last. No, we don't, we can't get the colors really. That looks cool, I like it. I like how the lines are. It pops a lot more since we put that white in the color. It makes it, because before it wasn't, it was more trans, that other color wasn't as opaque. Opaque means like if you can see through it. See the white is a lot more opaque and it has it covered, you know, it covered the color underneath it really well. So putting that white in there made it, you know, now it covers it up good, so it looks better. Okay, look at the fruit. What are we going to do? I think maybe a purple on the dinosaur, the brontosaurus? That's brachiosaurus. That's brachiosaurus. What do you think? I think maybe a... Yeah. I think purple. maybe blue or orange or purple for the dinosaurs. What do you think? think which, which do you want which? What? Which? I was thinking purple, blue, and orange, like, would be good colors for the dinosaurs. Yeah. I think, I think like kind of orange. Orange. Body like body. Like well, let's like draw it the same orange. color, so it's the same thing in purple or orange. Yeah. How about like an orange with a little bit of white in it, so it's kind of got that pastel orange, like a sherbet color, like this kind of orange but with more white, so it's like a lighter color, like that green turned into. Yeah. So it's kind of like a sherbet orange. That could be nice. And then maybe purple for the purple for the um, pur what do you think? Purple or blue for the pterodactyl? What do, you, what do you think would look best? Well, let's do the dinosaur orange and then we can see what it would look like. Well, we got a lot of green there and purple goes good with green. Yeah. I think like kind of. I feel like purple would look good with it. I think purple for the brontosaurus or the brachiosaurus. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Is it five? Oh, it's five o'clock. It doesn't matter. You can stay and keep painting. She said you could? Yeah, she will work me. Oh, that's nice. So we can work one more. We didn't we barely got anything done today. I got here too late. It's one of a kind worth millions. Well, if we make a million, Carson gets half. You made a million? Second hand vape. I'm not vaping near the kid, I'm vaping over here. Huh? Oh, cool. Yeah, take your time because we want to paint more. He's being really good, too. Okay, let's get back to work, bud. Check. 
change the angle. Oh, I don't want to take my phone off the thing. It's a pain. I guess. Okay, whatever. I'll do it. Okay, here's person drawing. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty cool. It definitely has that child essence in it. It's like very free. I like the diamonds that are just randomly in the air. <laughs> They're like, tell your dad to eat me, eat me. Eat me. Eat me. Should we make Yeah, a pretty cool painting for, uh, how old are you? Eight? You're eight. Pretty cool for eight year olds. Good, good in the kids' room or a house. Anyway, it, it looks sophisticated enough. It's on a canvas, you know. I told Carson I'll give him half for whatever we sell it for. It's 50-50. 50-50. 100-100. 100-100. 50-50. Yeah. 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 He's learning business negotiations already. We need to work on that real soon, though. We're partners. All right, what are we doing? How do we make purple? Do you remember? I told you earlier. Do you remember how I told you? Okay. Okay. What two colors makes purple? Blue and red. Blue and red. Yeah, man. Good job. It's you remember? blue and red. What color makes orange? Okay, that's think about what orange looks like. What colors do you think makes orange? White. Red and yellow. Yeah, it how do you make how do you make green? Mostly yellow. Well, actually, for that color, it's mostly red with just a little bit of blue to make purple. It's red and and if and if you want it, yeah, to make orange, it's mostly yellow with a little bit of red because the red's a lot stronger. So you want mostly yellow. If you want to make green, it's mostly blue with a little bit of red. Yeah. Or no, no, no. Green is blue. Or it's mostly yellow with a little bit of blue. Is making green. And then, if you want it lighter, you add more white or black, or, or you want a different shade, black a little more blue, a little more black red. Dark. Yeah. If you add black to a color, it's a shade. If you add white, if you add black to a color, it's a shade. If you add white to a color, it's a tint. That color looks like. We want it mostly. This is a lizard and crimson. It's a burgundy. Yes. Okay, but the first Scar or like a scarlet red. But it looks like diarrhea. <laughs> Have you had diarrhea before? Yeah. Oh, it's no fun. No fun. You have to go to the bathroom. You miss your favorite show. You miss your favorite show. What's your favorite show? Uh, all the time. All the time. All whatever's on. Whatever's on. My fa that's my favorite show. Favorite what is it? I don't know. Whatever's on. My favorite show is the Jurassic World. Jurassic Lego we gotta watch Lego too. Let's clean this palette knife off because we need to mix our new colors. I'm not gonna put more of that cobalt dryer in there. Let's just put the, the solvent, this odorless mineral spirits. You wanna mix them together? We're just mixing this blue and the purple. Or I mean the red. We're gonna make purple and then and then we need some white to make it lighter. Hold on. Yeah, mix that together a little bit. Now let's put some white. It's cool watching the color mix, isn't it? Mash it in there good. Like smash it like this, put the bottom of it just like this. And then move it around as you smash it like that. That's how you get it to mix good. See how much lighter it looks? Look where that blue's in there too. Isn't that cool? You can see what the blue's doing to it. Yeah, we should clean our brush. Good call. We don't want to contaminate the color in this new color with the old one. Yeah, we don't even need probably the solvent for this. Here, let me take this out. I'm gonna take these brushes out because they're taking a lot of parts. It's all of our work. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember when I 
Alex said, let me take this out. Let me take it out. Let's put some more. This is just baby oil. Can you smell it? It's like the kind of baby oil you use when you're a baby. It's in the dollar store. That's what you use to clean out oil brushes. Baby oil, and then you use the solvent too. And the solvent gets the baby oil out of the brush and cleans the bristles all the way. So you want to use this baby oil first, and then you use the solvent second. Because this gets most of the color out, and then this finishes cleaning the brush up. So you want to take it like this and move around the edge so you get that extra paint out. And then you scrub it on the bottom so it gets on there. And then you move it on the, the edge of it. And then we put it in this. And that's going to finish cleaning our brush good. And that's how you clean it. If you don't clean your brushes good, the, the paint will dry on there and it won't be, it'll mess up your brushes. And you don't want to contaminate the colors. You have to put it there. Yeah. Here, wait, I got it. Yeah, this is, this rag's getting really dirty. Right about the time to move the new rag to get a new rag. Yeah, they're gone. That's a clean brush. Yeah. I'm gonna put the lid back on the solvent. We're going to the Brontosaurus next. So first, okay, let's get a little of our solvent here. This is just odorless mineral spirits, OMS. And put a little of that paint on there. Here, we can take some of the paint here. It's literally fell to the corner anyway. Let's just move it down here. See how the solvent's kind of mixing that color together too to a uniform color tone? It looks like that color right there. Well, it's a little lighter. That's got a little more red in it. This has got a little more blue in it and a little more white. Yeah, that one's more magenta pink. Alright, let's hit the brassers. See? I painted over that little thing. We, I told you we'd fix it. I told you no tongue. You put a tongue in it. Uh, oh, it's a leaf, right? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. He's on a leaf finger. We should maybe paint the leaf green then. After we're done with this color, we'll maybe put a little green there for the leaf. We should have done that when we had the green on our brush. We can always clean our brush again and put it all back on it. It's not, it didn't take much time, does it? It does take a couple. Anything worth doing takes a few minutes or hours or anything. Things take time. It takes time to create a masterpiece, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm going this today. Hopefully, but yeah, we're not going to. Too much to do. Well, gives us something to do next time. Try to get a little closer to the black line if you can. This line, oh boy. It's all the way down there, ain't it? We got a long tail. What's, what are you going to be for Halloween? Do you know yet? Yeah. Watch your hand. You want to finish that line right there? You're a little closer to it, you do the tail. I'll worry about this side, you do that side. Like the tail and stuff. This one's like tail. You know, Someone's gotta paint over your stuff a couple times to get it. It's a little harder with this coarse burlap fabric. It's really coarse. I thought it could be nice for like a Basquiat kind of painting though, like the texture would be neat. Cool, man. 
Let's paint some shapes purple while we got purple on our brush. Oh, you should paint the gemstones. Yeah, I was thinking the gemstones. Maybe, actually, do us do the triangles, some of the triangles. But we want we don't want to do, like, two that are purple next to each other. Let's try to mix it up. Let's give it some variation. Let's give it a little variety. It means, you know, some different stuff, you know? Not, like, two things that aren't the same next to each other. A little variety, you know? So, like, we probably don't want to do another purple or connecting to those because we don't we want it to be different colors. I think it'll look better. Like one back here, the purple. Some green. Okay, like one more. Can you reach it? Yeah, a little too high. Down here, it's almost a little too low for me, though. Right now, once the paint's getting a little low, here's a little trick. Just put a little more solvent on it, and that'll get you a little more paint. Solving it because it might it might drip a lot easier. Cover the orange. I don't know. We might leave that as it is for now. touch it up later thank you so much for the donation jesper wondering if you ever think about trisha have you talked to her no nah, i haven't heard anything about the trisha thank you so much uh two dollars thank you i know better than nothing two it's not good enough for, for my nephew Two dollars. What does this be? Bull hockey. Huh? Oh, I don't have any friends. You're, you and Mamaw's my only friends, and maybe John. Maybe Dave. He drinks too much though. I don't drink anymore. I'm sober. If I can just quit vaping, that'll be good. I won't have any bad habits. And get off your diet. No, I'm on keto. I gotta stay so I can lose some weight and get you a new aunt. Women like a nice 
guy that's got a nice body. Body. Nice body, yeah. Girls like it when you have a nice butt, too. They always say that. I don't know why, but they like men to have nice butts or for some reason. Like, like guys like girls' butts, you know? You don't like girls' butts? What do you like? Their face more? I like their hair more. Their hair? That's good. Hair's nice, too. It's probably good. You're not looking at butts. You're too young. I'm too young, too, I know. But Josh's too young. I don't need to be looking at butts. Uh, yeah, just paint wherever you think it looks good. Just be a little more careful. I noticed this triangle wasn't that great, so I'm having to touch it up. So just be, you know, before you move on to the next one, paint the one you're painting good. You know? What kind of, what do you, what kind of ant, what do you think would be a pretty ant if I meet a hot baby? You like blondes, redheads, brunettes, brown hair, black hair? Blonde. Blonde. I like dark hair though. I'll probably go for brunette or black hair. As long as she gives you good presents, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> and she's nice. And she go to church. It's good that she goes to church. Okay, that might be hard, but I'll try. A lot of these women are sinners. She was a sinner? Well, sometimes sometimes we, everyone makes mistakes. It's just important to learn from our mistakes. Yeah. Not appropriate, dude. You want to join the others? Oh. Carson likes everyone. Of course he likes lady boys. Everyone does. They're nice people. That was pretty sweet, man. I'm not going to lie, it's pretty cool. We got a lot of this uh, oil pastel, though, on there. So I'm going to go over a little more to just get a look kind of dark. I'm just going to give it a little touch up. But yeah, it looked pretty good. Just needs a little touch up here and there. It's hard to not get in that oil pastel and have it, you know, it just kind of, that black really just kind of gets into the color and doesn't want to come out, does it? It's kind of nice though, it gives it a nice little shade. Yeah, can I clean it off? Huh? Can I clean it Yeah, I think let's switch to another color. Okay, let's get, I think we're going to need another, another, uh, another rag. Where's our rags at? Alright, this one's just got a hole in it. Sacrifice it to the painting god. Where's our? Uh, you want to help me tear it up? Looking for a knife. Here, here's scissors. Let's tear it up. Here and help me cut it. Cut the sleeves off. Of it. Oh wait, you're gonna want the other part of the scissors. Oh, because this is not. It's the oldest ones. Of course. He was like, oh, these are the ones that don't cut. You can, have those. You can rip that with your muscles? You thought you could. Oh, wait. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's Hulk Hogan. Yeah. There you go. I think you can do it. You're stronger than I thought. You're stronger than I thought. There's a little muscle man over here. You just need to start cutting out. You just need some muscles, Uncle Josh. Yeah, you just need to cut a little bit off. Just need little muscles. Alright, yeah. let me try to get it started. You want to grip yeah. the rest of it? Yeah, I can grip it. Alright, let me get this one. Just 
the Ripper Dipper. The Ripper Dipper. The ladies and gentlemen, coming in at four foot tall. He's eight years old. How much do you weigh? Sixty pounds of romping, stomping, female satisfaction. Here he is, the romper stomper. Ah! Give him a rat. Give him a roar. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's awesome. You brighten my day, buddy. All right, you want to rip some more? Yeah. All right. The romper stomper. Yeah, not very strong. Don't tell them. Man. We're trying to convince them you're strong. I'm not very strong. Then they're gonna know that you're not very strong. Let me get the other ones. Hold on, don't get cut. Why? Well, don't get your fingers around the scissors. These are really dull scissors, too. They're just old. They're not very good sharp blades. Watch out, romper stomper. I don't want to poke you in the eye with these scissors. Believe me. Having two eyes is better than one. Wow, these things are getting tore up on me. God, these scissors are awful. Complete garbage. Hold on, Dropper Stopper. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the boy wonder, the strongest boy in the universe, Romper Stopper. Show the camera. Run and go. Run. Just rip it apart. Run. I have the power! Shirts that are pre cut. <laughs> hey, I ripped it. Yeah, you ripped it. Okay. Better than most people. Stronger than most. Okay, now we're going to Put this shirt up. Well, we're going to use this shirt as rags now. Paint brush, cleaner paint brushes. Okay, and I'm gonna rip this thing down here too. There we go. Now we got some rags to use for. Let's cut some, rip some of this down too. It's still big. Okay, we're fine, but I should get. I went through my glove. I should get. Why? Look. Are they gonna hold them? Oh, look, yeah, my Oh, a little hole? Yeah, yeah get some new gloves then. Yeah, they have a cool. Romper Stomper. Nice. Romper Stomper needs some new gloves here. Where do, where's the trash can? I'm using this for the trash can. Okay. See, it's a good way to use a, reuse an old shirt that was already messed up. I would have taken it to the Goodwill, but it was messed up and it had holes in it and stuff, so I didn't figure anybody, I don't like giving them stuff that's not very good. I tried to give the Goodwill nice stuff that some people could actually wear. This is the Talking Heads, David Byrne. Yeah, that's cool. Just like happy music. Dance party! Dance a little bit. Let's show our moves. Home is where I want to be. I want to be there with you. Yeah. slider. It's the Indiana underground painting scene. Yup. Hey, 
Jack, I guess you guys weren't here for the memo, dude. We're not trying to put his name in the chat, bro. Don't do that. His mom doesn't want people to know his name. I don't have kids. This is my nephew. They will think you're my kid because of that video we did. Remember we went to the park and I told you guys to call me daddy as a joke? People believe that and think that you're my kid, my son now. Funny. We, we trolled, we tricked them. But it worked too good. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, you were here too late. Yeah, don't, you're not banned, Jack. I just timed you. I should have just deleted the comment. I hit the wrong button. What did you do? I just told people not to say your name because your mom doesn't want people to know your name. Come here for some What do you want me to do? Hold on, just stay over there because I'm vaping. I don't want to vape around you and stuff. Turn a vape over here by the fan so it sucks it away. There we go. Yeah, it'll exhaust it out. I meant it was an accident. I meant to hit delete. A little lettuce wrap. I mean, come on, people smoke. Cigarettes around the kids and stuff. I, I think that's messed up. They've been six feet away from them. It's not really going to do anything wrong. It's like my herd of them. I think you're all dirty. Oh, man, you're going to take Oh, they are. Looks like you've been walking in the coal field. Yeah. The coal mine. Oh, yeah, put your feet down. I'm going to see your nasty feet. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing? Oh, we need to take your little fingers. Because the gloves are too big for his hands. The gloves are too big. See, if it's plural, you say are. If it's singular, like one thing, like this glove is too big. These gloves are too big. See how it sounds better? Are too big. Are too big. There you go. Are big. There you go. How would you spell two in this? Because two can be T O or T O O. Or two, yeah, the number two. Or just like. Well, if it's two, it's like I'm going to the supermarket. That would be T T O, but I'm like, this is too much. That's T O O. Or I do this too often. If it's like a, something of a measurement or something like that, it's T O O. Do you know about there? Do you know there, there, and there? Because those are different too. Like T H E I R is like, that is their water. Or can you grab that water over there? That would be T H E R E. It's confusing. I don't know why they make it so confusing. Um, Stand on the stool, it makes it a little taller. Everybody, we're gonna paint this all blue and orange. I think white, baby blue would be good for the. What do you think, baby blue or orange for the pterodactyl? I don't know. Look at it, look at it. Just see what you think would look better, baby blue or orange? I think blue. Any blue? That's You excited for Halloween? Yes. Do you know what you're going to be? Yeah. Be careful, man. You're going to be Darth Vader? Yeah. Oh, he's scary. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Oh, this is what you're going to be. Oh, okay. There you go. I'll keep the because this paint, if it was acrylic, I wouldn't care, but this paint has cobalt dryer and stuff. I don't want him getting it on his hands. Guys, what time is it? Someone tell us what time it is. I'm going to not die. How many kids?
painting with oil paint on real canvases. It's pretty cool having an art artistic yeah. uncle. No weed, no peel paint. Half part freak. All right, so what do we hey, think? Don't use my name. I think baby blue will go good with the green. Let's see baby blue. Baby blue. We got a rag over here. One of our big rags we got. Yeah, we'll open that solver. Open that up. Be careful not to spill it or get it in your face or eyes. Well, you got gloves on. Yeah, you don't want to really get it on your hands either. Or your eyes. Because it's got. Because in these paints, there could be cobalt, lead, mercury. Uh, mercury? Yeah. There's a lot of bad stuff in How much money did we get? I think $10. Hey, thanks, Jackological. Aw, uh, I hope so. Well, we've done some other paintings, too, off stream. We worked on it. How many days did we work on this before? One or two? One day we did that much in one day. Oh we got a lot done. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. That was ten dollars. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. We had forty-two dollars so far today. That's almost enough. If one person donated, if two hundred dollars, they could own the painting when we're done, and you get half the money. I don't know. I guess they're giving us money. That's nice. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's put it on this other color because it's kind of dry at this point. And now we need some what color to make it lighter? Uh, yeah. Good. 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 Let's not mix it with the brush, let's mix it with the palette knife. Let's wash the yeah, clean palette knife off good. Yeah, you always want to paint in a well ventilated area. We got a fan blowing the stuff out. Actually, it's blowing it in. We should have it blowing the other way. What? I think I got it blowing on it to help dry the paint. But we got a, We also have an air purifier in here too. What's that? The air filter it filters the air so that because we don't want to be breathing these fumes and stuff. So that's why we got it ventilated. Is it that yeah, you don't want to breathe these fumes. Yeah, that's why I got the fan on and stuff to get some pressure in here. That's a nice color. What do you think? Nice baby blue. Yeah, it looks like the it's a boy color. Baby it's a boy. Shark baby shark. Give a rat. My name is Little Slider. I'm the ginger. I'm a painting Picasso. You dig? I'm getting down, I'm dancing with the hip hop. And you like it, cause I like to make your bottom drop, draw drop. Cause I got the freestyle coming down, cause you know I can't deny. Ooh, I'm popping and knocking, and I'm doing the freshest moves. If you can groove, you dig? Ow. Mmm, we're gingers and we have soul. 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 You doing a robot dance? Oh, cool. Beep. Alright, let's get back to our painting, dog. Okay, bro. Hey, dog. Smashy, smashy the paint into clumps. And then the bristles. There we go, we got it. Alright, we're doing the pterodactyl, right? Make sure you're underneath it good. Uh oh, you got a little extra on there. That's okay. You'll figure it. You'll put it on the painting. You want to move over a little more to it closer? Here, here, I'll get on this edge right here. Ooh. 
<laughs> it's hard to see the lines on this one. That's cool, man. I'll let us paint a little longer. We're having fun, aren't we? Yeah. I'm gonna go over to Grandma's too tomorrow and do this. Hey, we might be there. I know. I gotta go uh, use Grandpa's grinder. Uh, I wanna grind off the paint. You see how my water bottle got all. I tried to sand that paint off because it was getting scuffed. Now I'm gonna just take the grinder on it and take the rest of the paint off so it's silver instead of being like messed up. So I'm gonna go to Papa's tomorrow. I don't know, probably just like an hour. No, I'm not sitting there all day. Yeah, maybe we can play hide and seek or something. Or tag. Hide and seek tag. Oh! Well, this is my painting shirt. Yeah, be more careful, buddy. I'm glad this is, that's why we wear painting clothes, right? What were we playing last time? Huh? Uh, oh yeah, we played kickball. That was fun. Yeah, maybe. That looks pretty cool, man. What do you think? I think we need a little more blue here though, because it got dark with the black oil stick. This is ACDC. In Australia, they call them Akadaka. 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 Akadaka, mate. Let's use some of this blue in the circles. Hey, no break time, man. We got work to do. If I do all the work, I'm not going to split the money. Come on. You gotta do as much work as I do if we're gonna split it 50 50. I stretched the canvas too. Technically, I did more work, but whatever. We made it. A deal's a deal. Hey, be a little more, be a little more precise with your lines. Go a little slower. Go a little slower. Be a little more patient. Hey, you're painting the wrong shape in, buddy. We're supposed to paint these shades. This was supposed to be open. We'll I'll fix it here. I'll fix it. Yeah, pay attention. We're just painting the shapes in right now. We want to leave the background with our cool background. Yeah. It's okay. No mistakes, right? Just happy accidents. That's what Bob Ross says. Just a happy accident, that's all. We'll fix it. We'll make sense of it. Sorry, Eminem. He's a little too young for Eminem. But hey, it's the stroke of midnight, and you know what that means. It's the money of Mont Liquor sponsored Shibuya Roll Call Hour. Giving our respect and love to the architects who designed this culture. Oh, I just thought it was a little violent gunshots and stuff. That's not the kind of stuff I want you to listen to. What? Yeah. Yeah, do every other one. Hey, you can smell the paint jams, can you? A little bit. Not too bad. You don't feel sick or anything. It's only if you need to take a break and feel dizzy or anything. Yeah, you might need to take a break to get some fresh air. Because the more we paint on it, the more wet paint, the more 
solvent's going to be evaporating into the air. Now it's still wet. It's going to probably be wet until tomorrow. Thanks for shapes. That's the rest for food. Nobody buys it, maybe daddy will let you hang it on your wall. it up a little more, you know? Like, if you do blue here, don't do blue here, do blue like here, you know? So it's like every other one. It'll make it look better. Jeez, N-A-R-D. Yeah, or maybe this one would be a good blue. Do this one blue, I just made it blue. So you get some paint on your brush, and then do the line down like this, and you get that corner like flared out with the corner like I showed you. You know how when you go to the corner, you, you bring the yeah, brush like, out? Yeah, like one more eye here. Yeah, don't do it there. Fix this one a little bit. Get your corners, this corner's not that great. Muddy shapes like that. That, that needs something there. That was pretty cool. I like it better. I like this colors around the shape. Like I did it with this blue. Check this out. The blue, it really makes that orange look like it's three-dimensional. It looks like it's, yeah, it makes it stand out. It makes it pop. Like, like, cool. Color, yeah, we should do that with some more colors. Let's use this blue some other places, too. I think we're going to do this blue. I think this color could be blue, too. Even though it's right next to the other one, it looks good. What do you want to be when you grow up? Do you know yet? Or just trying to figure it out? What do you think you might want to be? You can always change your mind. What do you think would be fun to be when you grow up right now? stuff you can't do when you're not 21. There's a lot of fun stuff to do in New York when you're younger, though, too. But there's some adult stuff you got to be 21 to do. No, 
Well, there's probably a baseball book right there. Yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know. I, I don't know. I know what they're talking about. We need one more solvent because we're running out of color. It's getting thick. Now we're going to keep using this color. Let's use the rest of our blue. Well, let's look around and let's take a couple steps back now and see what where it needs some more blue. That could be blue right there. Here, did you get a new color? Like, you know, let's take a break and look back. Let's get back here and look and see what it looks like from afar. Look, here's a good thing to do too like squint your eyes like this so you can just barely see the painting and then you can see all the shapes without the details. And you can see, like, you know, you can see the shapes and then you can see, like, okay, it needs a little more blue here, you know, or something like that. It helps you see the picture better. Could use a little blue right there. Uh, we might paint a different color in there. I say we need some blue in somewhere in one of those triangles, though. I think maybe this one could use some blue. Be careful on the corners and the lines, you know. You gotta take your time. It's not a race. Let me show you a technique. Oh, that's pretty good. Look, look, look. If you use the side of the brush, you can just go down that line because it's a straight brush. Use the flat edge of the brush, and then you go, it'll help you get a straighter line. Uncle Josh, I think we should turn it a little bit more because they can see it. How we're doing it. Everybody like put the camera over here? Yeah, make it mm. That could be a good idea. Maybe we should do that. But then they can't see us. Mix the colors. Yeah, I guess we could, sure. About maybe better next time. I don't know if I, I mean, I guess we could, sure. Oh, let's, oh, Cheech, Marin, oh, goodness. Oh, nothing. No, I don't have a daughter. That's my niece and nephew. If you guys are going to be rude and troll, you're going to get banned. Okay, I'm not putting up with it, especially around my nephew. No, I don't have a daughter, too. I'm just read the darn thing. You know what, CX douchebag? You can screw off with the rest of those idiots. Get the heck out of here. How about that? You gonna troll some more? Oh, wait. Never mind. Tell them, you're banned, bud. You're banned, whoever said that. You're banned, bud. I am banned. Banned. Say, let me make it real easy for you. You're banned, bud. You're banned, buddy. No, get up, person. Don't, don't do that. No, person. Can you shut up? You silly goose. Bang! What's that? What's that? That's pretty cool. I like that. Is that where you're gonna put teddy bears? I know what that means, dude. You're banned. I'm not putting up with that crap. If you guys, if any of my mods see somebody putting bears and stuff in the chat, auto ban. I'm not putting up with that garbage. Get the heck out of here. It's my nephew. I'll be dang danged if anybody says anything bad about me or my family. I'm not putting up with that crap. Get the hell out of here. Get the heck out of here. Alright, let's 
move her, give him a different camera angle. Cleansing the chat of ignorance daily. And hate. We got no room for haters, right? Watch out, Carson. Or, uh, nephew. Put it over here. Oh, yeah. There's, who's that? I don't know. No one's that. I don't know who that is. Yeah, he's her friend. I don't know where he is today. I haven't seen him in a while. Hey, quit moving the door, buddy. You're moving the camera. Okay, let's see how that looks. Is that... You guys aren't going to be able to see what we're working on, though, from this angle. Because we'll be in the way. I can see what we're doing better. Yeah. Jefferson. Bear, bear, bears, you. You're banded, bud. You boy who has I remember not banded. Jefferson band. and Tiger. Not banded, band. Tiger and Jefferson are banded. Hey, Pat, don't put his name in the chat, man. We're, his mom doesn't want people to know his name. Yeah, Pat, me. Don't put my name. There we go. Chill. Don't it. I deleted it already. It's fine. It's okay. Quit. Yeah. Don't quit touching it with your big I'm doing I got it. Don't mess with it. The pterodactyl is nice. Yeah, it kind of looks like the Terry pterodactyl from Pewee's Playoffs. Pewee. Yeah, it's cool. You got here late, Pat. It's just that's what his mom said. She don't want people to know his name. So I'm trying to. Oh, my. I know my it's bad. not easy because oh, I've always thought. I've slipped up a few times too. Stick, stick. Danny. No, no, don't read it. You know, I just said don't say his name, dude. So now you're banned. Is that what you? Is that worth it? They are banned. Yeah, not playing You're banned. Yeah. No. I look better and seem more stable. Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you. All right. This is how it works. It's not working. Let's get back to work, buddy. No, it's not too work. Come on, get back to work. Let's ignore those people. We gotta get back to work. Uh, this is Elvis. Elvis. Well, this is like an Elvis remix or something. It's a little bit. Needs to be higher up. Can't see anything here. We'll move it one step up here. It's probably going to be bad audio though because it's right by the darn. It's right by the uh, fan. That's why I didn't keep the, I guess, I don't know, better audio or better sound. I don't know. Or I mean better, that's the same thing. Better audio or better angle. I guess the angle is probably better. He's dabbing on the haters, yes. Amazon wish list. Yeah, that's my Christmas list. Hopefully somebody gets me that new laptop I need. So I can make some new videos. 
and stream at 1080. It sounds like of... ginger up in here. We're not gingers. We're okay. We are gingers, but just leave us alone. Super we're trying to create filter. a masterpiece over here. Yeah, we're trying to create a masterpiece. We're trying to create a masterpiece. Well, Burger. Who's that? Why well, you lost a new tooth, huh? Uh. Uh-uh. On your bottom. Yeah. Were you scared your first tooth that you lost? Not at all. Yeah, right. I bet you were a little bit. Yeah, Here, well, get but down. Don't hang on that. Don't hang out, on that. Laugh out loud. Laugh out loud. Laugh out loud. Laugh the T Rex. T Rex. Dragosaurus. That's pretty cool. Pterodactyl. Just teaching him some different painting techniques he can use on, on other paintings to make his own and little drawings to make other stuff. Yeah, everybody join the Discord. Thanks, Tiger. Join the Discord. Thanks, Tiger. Does exclamation point Discord work or is it not working? I don't know. Don't get so close and they can't see me. No, it's me. Well, I can't because you're in the way. <laughs> Let's step back and look at the painting. Let's get back to our painting. Okay, this is I what it some looks orange, like. Some like sherbet orange would make look good in some of those other shapes. Where? And the rest of the triangles and stuff. Where? Sherbet orange. Where would we put the orange? In those other triangles and stuff. But look what I've been doing. Look what it looks like right here. See, look we'll paint like this one orange over the blue. Orange, orange, orange. These two something else. One of these orange. This orange, orange. That looks one, like this one orange. Hey, thanks, Frank. What? No, I'm not teaching him that, Frank. We're trying to teach our family to do good things, not be Hampton Brandon idiots. No, he, he's definitely not TTD. TTD. Yeah. Ten what? turds down. <laughs> Ten turds down! <laughs> Ten turds down! That's right. Ten turds you down. Ten turds down! Yeah. <laughs> what does that say? Yeah, there's your TTD, Frank. Frank, your TTD. Oh, wait. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. TTT talk. TTT. Come on, tiger. come on, Carson. Do the, you gotta do, wait, stand over here. Stand by me. Alright, it's like this. Like this. The fairy dance. Alright, that's all. It was only 30 seconds, apparently. It's actually pretty nice paint. Hey, thanks, guys. Yeah, it's oil paint. I'm just trying to teach Carson how the basics of painting and hey, stuff. My oh. My nephew. My nephew, sorry. I'm banned now. Yeah. This is ripping. Oh, what happened? Well, here's another glove. Use one of these other ones. They have tape on them still. Yes, we're going to. Well, who else is with it? Abby? Wait, wait. Well, well, don't say her name either. Abby's all for the blaming. Don't say it. Oh, Good. I do. Hey, Burger Planet loves America. That's right. Yeah. What does that say that? In emojis. Burger Planet loves America. That will be an important well, let's skill get back to work, too. Let's try to get our orange on here. Maybe we can get more done before Mamon gets back. Now we gotta mix. Let's mix our own orange. We got some already made, but I want to add some. What do we need to put to it to make it lighter? White. White, there you go. White, make it lighter. White turn. Someone said TT. We gotta find another place. Someone said TTD. What's that stand for? Ten turds down. Ten turds down. (laughs) Hey, everybody. T, T, T. Ten turds down. Let's focus, Carson. Little slider. Yes. Let's focus. Little slider. Ten turns down, 
You don't want to get some extra paint on the gloves. Alright, let's get to work. Alright, let's get to work. Try not to get it in the black because it's going to make the color dirty. But it's pretty hard on getting it in the black too. Try to get in the corners and get the gloves. Try to touch up some of it. Yeah, it's awesome. 
they're all rich. People that watch me are millionaires. So they just are waiting for me to do something that's good for the good for the world and they want to reward me. Is this good for you? I think so. Quality family entertainment. Do I need to take I wouldn't because that's too much that's close to these. Let's leave that one a different color. Remember we're trying to mix it up. I bet one like right here. Mm. Right here would be good. How about you paint this one, finish this, and I'll paint this one. Because I'm, I'm left-handed, so you're right-handed, so. Better if I'm on the left than you're on the right. So that way we don't bump elbows. I'm like, oh, sorry. I'm like, oops, sorry. Oops, sorry. Oops, bump me. Oh, well, come on, man. Who's this? You're just painting all crazy. Look, see how I'm painting? Very precise, you know, with my lines. Be patient. Just get a better line on there. I like to see how that's clean. That looks better. Now what should I paint? Like, hold it up and make lines come down? Huh? Like, you know, like, Be patient. So you're going to go through this a couple times. I move it up, put it on, and I'll, like, you know, put it the white. Ah, man, I boogered it up. I'm going to leave it up for now. Well, remember how we got it? Say you're skinny. They call you mean callers. We call you small. We don't want to be too fat either. I'd rather be skinny than fat. You'll probably get a little bigger, you know, as you get older. You get a little fall fill out. Yeah, let's do this would be a good one to work right there. Look at the angle of your brush, man. Let's see. Like, this is tricky because it's not a triangle, it's a different shape. Use the flat side. It is sort of like a triangle. It's not you know that we don't want to do the same color next to each other. Well, I guess you can. Well, so just paint it. You know, I'll fix it later. It's okay. No mistakes, just what? Yes. Happy, Happy accidents. Happy. They've called me bad boy a couple times. Bad boy? Dumb boy, yeah. They've called dumb boy. Bad boy? All kinds of meat. Bad boy? We don't need to go through each one. Bad boy? 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 about as smart. A lot of the trolls are, all, are a little less smart than you, so they're not really as... No, they're not that smart. They can come up with anything that's going to be Hey, whoever wants to call me that a real point, fine. That's fine. He said that's fine. If you want to call me diarrhea boy, that's fine. <laughs> call me diarrhea boy. Call me diarrhea boy. Who's that thing now? Uh, I'm going to leave that to do another, I kind of like that white, I don't want to mess with that one. This one looks good green. I don't know, I don't know if we want to go with red, I think red's not going to match with the other colors. Let's, I'll tell you what, let's take a break for a second, let's, let's sit back and look and see what it looks like. If hey, you don't know what to do, or you're unsure, a you're going to take a break. Planet. And look, and see, we're looking at the painting, bud. Dreamlabs gave us Burger Planet. Hey. Burger! 
Well, let's focus on That's the painting, cool. buddy. Look. Right there. Let's look at the painting here. Look, this side's bigger. Uh, hey, hey, come on. Hey, smoking you. Pot. If you want, I can turn this stream, stream off. See? I will see. Well, it's off now. Let's focus on the painting. Can they see us? Yeah, they can still see us. Alright, it's still going. Alright, let's sit down and take a look at it. Come on, let's check out and see what we did today. We did a lot of work today, didn't we? Look at all that. Look okay. at all this, guys. Can they see? Yeah, but let's focus on the painting. I want to. I'm trying to get your attention. That's why I turn the screen off. Okay. See, uh, what well, all everything we did. Look at it now. Look. You remember that technique where I taught you to squint like this, where you squint a little bit, and look at it. You'll see the different colors now. See how that orange really shows up against that blue and stuff. You see? Yeah. I think some pink would look nice too. Yeah. Yeah, I think. We can make some pink. Uh, yellow and um. No, red and white. Red and white? Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember why. Pink and red make, I don't know. Red and white make pink. It's mostly white with just a little bit of red. And then make, if you want it more pink, add more red to it. Yeah, that's what... Well, it depends how much pink or red you want. If you want it yeah, a real white pink. color, you know. More white, if you want it more pink. But that makes it too cold to you. I know. Cold wine! Cold wine, yeah. You want to draw on your dinosaur drawing while we're taking a break? You can yeah. paint the background. You want to paint some of that background with this color, the orange? Paint some of the orange around there. I'm going to take a break for a second. You want to use this thing as your... You want to use this? Oh, it looks like it could be run like that, or it could be, which side do you think is the bottom? Yeah, okay. On the corner? You want to hang it corner-wise? Okay. Well, if you want to. It might be hard to get it to hang corner yeah, to corner. Yeah, We don't have to color it all and you can just paint it whatever. Look, look, look. You don't have to fill it in. You can just, you know, paint different shapes and stuff. Can mm -hmm. I don't know. Let me see. I might have to adjust the angle down here. Painting looks like it's coming along really good, sir. Hey, thank you. They said they like our painting, nice. nephew. Please donate twenty bucks. We need a hundred. Yeah, we're so when we finish it, we're gonna sell it for two hundred. Carson said that's a good price, so he gets half of it and I get half. Fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. Hundred hundred. He's a good kid. Thanks, Anna. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Jessica? There's a girl named Jesse on the chat. That's my yeah. But there's a, there's other people named the same names, you know. Yeah. We should cover this up. Because that kind of got messed up there.
think it looks better now. It's starting to look better. I like the shapes because we got it really balanced. We got the T-Rex kind of big here, and then we got those two shapes there. It kind of gives it the balance. circles orange on there. I'm looking at it now. I think those circles that come off this, the cube look her, look uh, nephew. You see those circles that come off the cube? I think those would look good orange. While we got the orange on the paintbrush, why don't you use this paint and put paint those circles on the big painting real quick with orange. While you're getting some more paint, get in that corner. Hold on. I think we need some more solid work because it's getting dry. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. I put more salt in there. I don't have to make for it. There we go. Ah, uh, I'm gonna drip. That's cool. Just leave it. It's okay. Just let it drip. It's fine. Maybe don't let that one drip as much. You don't want it to drip on you. Here, here. Get some of that thicker paint. Wait, wait, wait. Here, come here, fix it. Get the thicker paint here on the brush. You got too much solvent in there. There you go. Now it's good, bud. Nice. That was better. I like that. Good work. Friday. 
Maybe I can come back Friday and work on it and finish it. I'll talk to Mamma and figure out what day I'll be here next and try to come out here. Because that while you're on fall break, we can make some paintings this week. You like in your fall break? You like school though, don't you? Are the kids cool? You got some friends? Don't tell them we're going to school either, too. Because I don't want them to know anything about you like that, you know? What if somebody came to your school and tried to kidnap you or something? Don't tell them. Well, they could try to get you in their vehicle and take you from us or something. We got to be careful and safe. And don't tell them stuff like that. It's none of their business. You got to be safe on the internet, especially when you're a kid. That's looking good, buddy. You're a natural. I think you might want to put a little more solvent on it or no? The solvent will help that paint. It'll help bring, get some more life out of the paint. Some bit more paint to finish that color. Yeah, try not to get too close to that black because it'll make the color get real smudgy and black and stuff. Murky. It can look kind of cool though, maybe it'll make it like a shadow around it, which might look kind of cool. Gotta be careful around the lines, right? Looks good, man. Try to paint over this black line a couple of times to cover it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's smeared out. You know, we have to cover it with more paint. Get some more paint. Looks like the brush is getting more dry. Here. Mix it in there, dude. We got paint on the back of it, too. How much more paint we got now? Just a little bit of that salt. Now, if you put too much salt, in, it'll make the color really thin. It'll make it watery and run a lot. But sometimes you want it to drip and look cool, like you did with the white before. Sometimes you want to do that just to give it an effect. It depends on what you're going for. What kind of a, what kind of technique and effect you're trying to achieve. You know? Sometimes you want it to be thinner. Sometimes it depends. It's looking cool, man. This is Guns and Roses. Axel Roses from Indiana. Plug this up to my cable so I get some energy to the phone. Looks like twenty thousand. Well, if you pay twenty thousand, what's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it. I thought two hundred sounds. We're trying to price it to move and sell. If we make the price too high, people won't buy it, maybe. I'd rather have $100 than no money, right? That's a lot of money for him, too, ain't it? Hey, I'll be right back. I'm going to pee. You going to pay by yourself for something? Yeah.
Looking good, man. Hey, you didn't make any messes. You're going crazy. Good job. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Once through this Wow, oh, I got paint on my Oh, darn. But we'll wash your hands good after we're done. Yeah, we'll wash your hands too. It's going to be tricky getting in between there. Can you do it? Use the side of the brush like this. Use the brush like, like up and down like this. You can get in between better. There you go, use the corner to get in those corners. There you go, the corner's better for detail. Get that little touch up there too. There you go, you just gotta figure out which angle you need the brush to go. And then you get that corner of the toes, it's gonna be fun. I'd go up into it, because if you drag it down, you're gonna drag the black down. So if you drag it up, you don't have to worry about it as much. Oh! What the heck? <laughs> Golly! Every time, I swear. You do that on purpose. Oh, wow, looks good. Yeah. Awesome. I got you like it? it? Awesome, awesome. Yeah, we're not done with you yet. Probably one more day. Is he going to be uh, back here Thursday or Friday? Thursday? One more. Oh, time to go? We need to wash his hands. Let's go and wash your hands. Tell everybody bye. Bye, everybody. Tell everybody thanks for donating. If they want to buy the painting, yeah. we'll put it on my Instagram when it gets finished. And you guys can, it's $200. The person gets yeah. half. Yeah. It's, he's going to save the money to buy something cool. All right. Yeah, put them in the little trash thing. Good job. High five. You did good work today. Proud of you. I had a good time. It was fun. That looks neat too. You got him a little painting to work on while I take a break. Yeah, All right, well, guys, thanks for watching our wholesome painting stream. You guys have a good night, and we'll see you on the next stream. Let's sign off. Come on, Carson, tell him bye. I bye. mean, um, my nephew. Bye, bye, guys. Thanks for everything. We'll see you on the next one. Good thing you don't know my name. Yeah, love you guys. Yeah, love we you. my mystery nephew. Yeah, All right. Bye.